biological application. You see terpenes in a lot of plants, and we make a lot of stuff out of that too. Um, terpenes are molecules made up of isoprene. One iso this is a terpene unit. It's called beta carotene. And one isoprene unit is this right here. A bunch of them combine together to make a structure that looks like this. And they have conjugation. They're known for conjugation. And if you know, conjugation is what's important for us to see colors. And beta carotene is one of those. All right, so how would he ask this question? Um, he would tell you to, he would give you a terpene molecule and um, tell you to recognize or isolate different isoprene units. He would ask you how many isoprene units are there in this one structure. So you have a bunch of molecules to practice on this handout that's on the website. I'm going to show you how to do number one and then provide you with the key for the rest um, so you can see what the answer, I mean, you can see how to tackle this problem. All right, so the first thing that you do is circle, this is your isoprene unit. Let's actually recognize what that is. This is one, two, three, and four carbon long with always a methyl on number two. These conjugation bonds, these pi bonds, will move around. So let me draw another isoprene unit. When this is, okay, so this is one isoprene unit, and that's another isoprene unit. When two isoprene unit combines with each other, they make a bond between either one and four, or one and one linkage, or four and four linkage. So they can combine three different ways. One, 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 four, and four, four. So you can, you have to go back and forth, um, either both direction, to actually find out what kind of connection it is. But, so, th so my point was that when they combine with each other, these pi bonds, they disappear. So don't always recognize this with the pi bond because you will never be able to find all of them. But the thing that doesn't, doesn't change is this methyl on carbon number two. So always focus on that first. So, all right, let's come back to our terpene molecule to recognize it. You have two here, so I'm just going to pick one of those. There is a methyl here, methyl there, methyl there, methyl. Again, just pick one of those. OK, so I'm going to start from this side and keep numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, as long as number 2 has a methyl on it. So this is number 2, so I'm going to mark that because it has a methyl on it. So I have two options. I can either start from there, or I can go around the circle to see if it, if it gives me number four. So I'm going to actually start from there. So I can have a linkage here, right there. Because then this is, again, number two. So I'm guessing this is going to be number one. So if this is one four linkage. Then again, just keep going. Okay, one more. Okay, now this does not make sense, if you guys notice. This is four. Okay, let me just start one, two, three. Oh, oops, the methyl isn't on three. It has to be on two. So after this, you can't go the way you were going. All right, so let's kind of leave it there. We don't know what kind of linkage is going to be there. So we're going to come backwards. We're going to start from this side now. This is again number two. So one, two, three, four, one, two. That's good. We got the methyl on two. We got another methyl on two, another methyl on two, and that's it. So this is actually a four, four linkage, and everything else is one, four linkage. 
So you will see this often happening. If you can't figure out and you get stuck on one side, start from the other side to figure out. Now all you gotta do is count your methyls and that will tell you how many isoprene units are there because each isoprene unit has one methyl, if you see it in this. All right, so let's just count our circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you have eight different isoprene units. Sometimes he tells you to number them so he can see what eight you found out. Or sometimes it just tells you to circle the whole isoprene unit. And the way you would do it is, this is one isoprene unit. You would circle that for the entire molecule. All right, I hope this helps. Again, I'm going to repeat again. First, mark your methyls, give it number two, then try to follow one, two, three, four, s and either one of this connection will show up and all of them are viable. So make sure, and yeah, don't forget to go in either direction because sometimes you get stuck from one side, but the other side will get you to your end. Okay, I hope this helped. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.